Hi, today I'd like to show you how I wash my uh, tanner plastic recorder. If you use this method, you do it at your own risk. Because uh, we do use what we used to call for years rubbing alcohol to as the cleaner for it. And uh, for a long time, I've wanted to show you my little drain pail I've made out of an ice cream bucket. We cut uh, three round holes in the lid. And we've used these little Arizona tea containers that we bought tea in. I'm sure plastic tumblers would work. And you simply insert them in the proper cut round holes. And now you have a spot for each part of your recorder. For the head joint. For the middle joint. And for the foot joint or the bell. Okay. I like to get right to the point. And try to make my video as short as possible. Take a piece of regular copy paper, like what we call computer paper, and uh, cut, have about maybe six inches of it, cut maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch wide, and take a full length of paper towel. Okay, what you'll want to do for the uh, full length of paper towel is you'll want to put two folds in it. Okay, and when you do this on video, it always seems more difficult. So there is one fold, and now then bring this side over like this. Okay, it doesn't have to be really all that. So see, we got one side folded in and one side folded over. Okay, over top of that. Now what you want to do is hold them nice and flat as you thread it through your cleaning rod. Hold this this way a little bit. As you thread it through your cleaning rod. Okay, overlap it like this, start turning it around, holding it snug while you do. I don't like the way this is going, we'll stick it through the other way. So that way I can have the folded part sticking out. Just want to go to clean the block that will be there. Okay, so you start wrapping it around this way. Holding it snug while you do. And keeping it pushed as close to the end as you can. So you'll be able to reach in and, and clean that block without touching plastic to plastic. I don't like to touch plastic to plastic. I'm rolling it up. And then after you get so far, you'll want to stick it back through. This right here. Stick it back through the hole in your cleaning rod. This can be a little trying, but uh, as you can see, it does work. And I've ripped it, so I hope that that stays. And what you've made is a nice gigantic Q-tip. Okay. We'll save this for later. You also want to put two folds in this piece of copy paper. Okay, so it looks kind of like this. The one fold over top of the other fold. And 
Okay, now what you do, try to take this away from me and put it back over here now. Take this, and if you need another piece of towel, you can. But I'm not too afraid of alcohol, what we call rubbing alcohol. I've been around it, I believe, pretty much all my life. And while well, you don't want to get it in your eyes, and you don't want to ingest or inhale any of it, it, I have not found it dangerous to me in any other way. But that's just me. If you use this, you use it as your own risk. You take your head joint. You take this piece of copy paper that you folded and soaked in the alcohol. And uh, if you've got a smaller recorder, you have to use this differently. But for my tenor, this works good. I'm a tea drinker, and the first time I did this, I got all kinds of uh, brown substance out of here and I found this works as my recorder well see where it's coming all the way through okay and then really no need to but if you want to you can probably go back through this way and that's you can rub that all around in there and make sure it's nice and clean okay and then we're really we're really done with this. If you want to put the dry side through, you can. Uh, you can repeat that as often as you must. While you're doing this, by the way, as I said, rubbing alcohol will take off marker and so forth. So try to keep this away from any paint on a recorder. Rubbing alcohol will take the paint off of your recorder, like that little emblem right there. Uh, Yamaha's got pretty good paint. It really hasn't bothered this. But if you use the cheaper brands, such as Wooden Newt and so forth, I have noticed that finally their uh, emblems fade and you don't want to get alcohol on that because it could damage your paint. So, put this back in here for right now so we don't knock it over. We'll take our little Q-tip we made, dip it in the alcohol, shake off the excess. And we will begin to, if I can get, you can see this, we'll begin to rub this around in the recorder and rub it all around on the inside and clean the block. Whether you can see this or not. If you can see the Q-tip inside there, but I'm always rubbing rub around that block and you don't hear any plastic rubbing. You kind of see it in there a little bit. There's no plastic to plastic rubbing inside there. Just on the side, you hear me bumping the sides because that that's wrapped so good and sticking out the end. And that gives you a good clean on that block. And you just rub the sides down and uh, rub this down right here where the joint goes together. And... Uh, so we've pretty well got this clean. By the way, if you like my, you've seen me wear the uh, little uh, string around my neck. This here is fastened to the joint on my Yamaha recorder right there. It's just a shoestring. I had my wife to sew it real tight around that little track, hold it tight, and sew it with needle and thread. And then all it's got here is a string locker. So that's what's made my, and it's sewed on there pretty tight, so it sits in that track really well, if you find that interesting. Uh, we will clean the middle joint, much the same way, just run it in here in a circular motion, sliding back and forth however you want to until you feel that it is clean. You can perhaps, if I can get the right light on it, and watch it go past the holes in there. You just wipe that until you feel that it's really clean. 
you can rub around this in you can rub around this in and uh, by the way after so long a time these uh, the quarters can get old and uh, the joints don't fit together as good as they used to you can take a little piece of clear tape on if you can see that or not don't have to go all the way around you can put a little piece of, of what we used to call scotch tape i guess different company to make them now just a regular clear like gift wrapping tape and put on there just a little strip of it don't even have to go all the way around and you can tighten up the joints that way you can see it a little bit right there uh, we're going to put this back for now we'll get out what some people call the foot joint or the bell joint we'll do the same thing with it this here gets more narrow at the bottom this usually fits really snug right there Okay, we've rubbed it back and forth. That is done really well. Okay, and you can rub over that little hole. Try to be careful and don't get no extra alcohol on this little pad because I'm afraid it'll weaken the glue uh, on this little pad. If you happen to be cleaning the tinner or a base, watch those little pads and don't don't over soak them with alcohol because it could damage your your instrument by your pad falling off or something just to, never had that to happen but i'm a little leery about that okay now that we've wiped the inside of them we can take this off of the cleaning rod i think i've ripped that again just a little tiny piece of paper towel so we're going to throw this in the trash can now I take these individual holes, you can fold your paper towel however you want, and I go down through the holes, and by the way, I do this about once a week. I guess you can get creative and shove it through the bottom and saw if you want to, but I don't, I just put it down in there and Look we'll it around a little bit. These other holes are really small, so you gotta roll your paper towel up really small. You'll be able to go in the smaller holes. Okay, I think we've done that pretty good. Don't want to forget the thumb hole. Right there it is. Okay, now, this one is a little more tricky, I haven't completely mastered it yet, I'd like to get like a piece of a 90 degree plastic and clean around that edge right there and that groove, but uh, I think I've still got some room for improvement there for sure, but what I do with this is I kind of roll it up. into a, a, a little tight string there and while I do hit that pad and this is not real wet at this time I don't believe where it's going to drench the the glue on the pad that's just my opinion I say if you do this you do it at your own risk and you never want to wash a wood recorder with this kind of alcohol I wouldn't wash mine that way but uh, okay so we we've got it pulled through and now then you can just wipe around and I've, and I've broke it that happens sometimes just kind of wipe around okay now after you do that we're gonna throw this little thing away because we're just about done here take this watch still through the foot joint Take this and wrap it a couple times and shove this back through the other side part of the way. And then clean this part of the hole on this side.
And that's how I clean my ten and a quarter. Thanks for watching.